Hello, welcome to Anatomy and Physiology. My name is Dr. Robin and I teach this course. Um, I teach this course as a flipped classroom. What that means is you're gonna be watching these videos on YouTube and you're going to be, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about how you're gonna watch these videos. I want you to be interacting with them. And then you're gonna to come to class if you're in my course and you're gonna be ready to practice and apply the material. This is flipping the course design from traditional, where you're doing, um, you're maybe doing some reading before class, but you're coming to class and often learning the material for the first time in class. Um, this allows us to practice more and to dive deeper and be more prepared for the exam. So I've got a little schematic here I like to show um, to emphasize what this flipped classroom is and what it means to me and hopefully convince you that it's beneficial for your learning because that is my goal to help you learn. So traditional classroom, you're reading before lecture and then coming to class. I have found that students sometimes, sometimes don't read, sometimes don't read well enough or don't get adequate information from their reading. So you're coming to class um, either unprepared or underprepared sometimes um, and therefore learning the material for the first time in lecture. In lecture, I try to give you practice, um, apply, do case studies so that you can really learn the material and be prepared for exams, practice exam questions. And if you're, we're trying to do both those things at once, there's just not time and not all students are prepared to do that step yet. Um, you're then left doing the practice and application on your own, studying for the exam, and sometimes the exam is the first time then that you see examples of what I want you to do on an exam. Um, so that's traditional. What I do is flip. So in the flip classroom, you first gain exposure to the material watching these videos and reading. So there's still a textbook um, that I recommend reading. The textbook will not be as closely aligned with exams and learning outcomes that I give you. Um, as my videos will be. So I highly recommend watching these videos on YouTube. And you have to do this before class. That way you're coming into the class um, prepared to practice and apply. You're doing that more difficult work, not just the content delivery, but the application and practice of it. You're doing that with me there and with your peers there. Um, that's what the flip classroom is. So it's doing that harder work in class. You then might have some review outside of class, studying, but this should be less than it would be um, because you'd be more prepared for the, the exam and have more knowledge than you would have otherwise. You will see what kinds of exam questions I ask, and the exam won't be the first time you are asked to take that information that's hopefully in your brain and try putting it, externalizing it. I don't want you to wait till the exam to try to do that. And I do this based on learning outcomes. So there's learning outcomes posted for those of you who are in my class. And I want you to look at those and you should be able to answer those. They say things like describe, explain, draw, things you can do. Um, and you should be able to do those. We'll practice doing some in class. So that's the idea behind the flip. My, um, I, I feel it helps students learn better. And um, I really enjoy doing it as well. I get to spend more time talking with students in class. Downside is you have to watch lectures on your own time. Uh, you have to find a time to do that. I recommend you find a time, find some classmates, um, get together. And when you're doing that, you need to be active, right? Just like you would be in lecture, of course, take notes, draw things out as I'm drawing them. Um, you're not gonna learn by me just talking to you. You're gonna learn by being active during, during that lecture time. You can go back later and watch the videos again while you're working out, eating dinner, whatever. But the first time you watch them, when you're really watching them, you should be actively engaged. Um, throughout the lecture videos, a way that I have to keep you engaged is learning checks. So throughout the videos, you will see what looks um, like this. Um, oftentimes, there'll be purple, bold letters. There's a few videos where I don't have this quite as obvious. I will try to let you know how many learning checks to look for each week. Because you're going to 
answer these as you go through the videos and you're going to turn this into homework. So this example here, these are the cutest dogs in the world, clearly has the correct answer, which is yes. This is Sergeant Pepper and Hokkaido, um, obviously my dogs. So learning checks though are a chance for you to check your learning. Please don't go back in your notes. Please don't spend a ton of time on them. I wanna know what you've gotten from the videos at that point, where your learning's at at that point. It's a chance for you to think about that as well. So they're not graded for correctness. They are graded for like completion, like you don't answer or you like put um, something that's not even a, attempted to an answer as an answer, you, you may not get credit, but you're not graded for correctness. I wanna to try to see what misconceptions there are. You're gonna turn this in as homework um, on Canvas. And it's also a place for you to ask questions, um, ask for clarification, put a note that says, I got this answer right, but I don't like understand it. It's a place for me to get information from you. It's not the only place. Um, the other side, downside of the flip classroom is that I'm not there during, while I'm lecturing. If you have questions, ask me. You can write them in this learning check document. You can email me. You can find me in class the next day, um, whatever works best for you. But I will want to know what your questions are. And I don't want you to feel like just because I'm not there during that lecture time that you won't get those questions answered. Okay, so that is the basics of my flipped classroom. I hope you like it as much as I like doing it. And please let me know if you have questions or concerns.